And here we are live. What's up, Capcom Unity? Greg Aman here, uh, slightly lower than everyone else. I got Derek Neal and Andrew Schnorr in the house, two Hello. guys who worked very closely hey with uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Origins. Uh, specifically, what were your guys' roles? Uh, I'm the producer on the game. Uh, and I just uh, headed up the marketing. Oh. That's all. That's so, uh, all. if you guys didn't know, this game is out, at least in North America. So, uh, now's your chance to pick it up. How can they get this, guys? Uh, basically, you can download it on uh, either PlayStation Network or Xbox Live Arcade uh, for $15 or 1,200 Microsoft points. And uh, this, uh, this is a collection. It includes both Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and Marvel Super Heroes, the original. And uh, they've both been uh, buffed with all sorts of new features, uh, better visuals, all, all sorts of filters and uh, visual modes, lots of unlockables. There's a lot to see and do, even if you're already familiar with the games. Uh, and to show that to you, let's actually play the game. What do you say? That sounds like a plan. All right. Let's do it. Also, down, also off camera, we've got Yuri uh, Duvindo. Hi, Yuri. In the house. Hi. He'll probably be tagging in at some point, but uh, for now, let's just switch and see uh, Andrew and Derek face off. So, uh, guys, what are we playing first here? This is uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, the original. Excellent. And uh, are you guys starting with your your uh, your best stuff? Or are you just kind of doing random right now? I am personally using the most uh, basic team imaginable. Ryu Wolverine, you'll fight. Cover of every single <laughs> Indeed. The uh, poster children of the Atom. <laughs> I'm actually using my best team. Gotcha. I'm a Strider fan, but actually this is uh, my own favorite team in this game, but I'm not as good as you. The Nostalgic Gamer says, yo Andrew, great job on the Street Fighter documentary. Oh, thank you. Glad you I think that is... A, that is Pretty much the consensus on that documentary. We also have a few codes to give away uh, for each console. So uh, if you're tuning in, make sure that you're in the live chat and uh, you'll have a chance to get a free download code for this awesome package. That was a massacre. It was, yes. I, I am not good with the It's a tough one. You know, it's hard to resist that temptation to just, uh, you know, mash away once you've activated that thing. Wow. The game has some truly obscure uh, fan service in here, uh, that assist character you've got on the right there right now. Who, uh, that was uh, Michelle Hart from uh, Legendary Wings. Mm -hmm. You can uh, force pick her by holding down start after you pick your characters and then jab and then uh, share at the same time. Oh wow. There's uh, secret codes like that for every assist character. Yeah. If you learn them, you can learn how to pick the uh, specific can actually if you, if you actually uh, watch our recent uh, retro assist me with Maximilian, mm -hmm. um, the fourth episode actually goes over all those different characters. No, the third episode goes over all the different character uh, um, buttons you have to press. Button combos. That is useful info indeed. There's a lot of cool stuff in those videos, including uh, basic combos for all the characters, yeah. mm -hmm. strategies and tactics. So, uh, you know, aside from aside from the obvious visual difference, uh, for people who, you know, whose first experience with uh, the MVC series was MVC three, what would you say are some of the major differences? Uh, well, there's no X factor. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, instead of having three characters where you can control all three, mm -hmm. you have uh, two characters that you can control in a manner similar to uh, the tagging style for. Three, right. And then there's one dedicated assist. So in this case, I have a lot of assist. Nice. It's also one of the best assists. 
along with Michelle over at Psylocke. Um, these guys are all over uh, But I can only call him Psylocke. My other team members are Ryu. I can't call Ryu. Right. Back in these days, we had two main characters in there. And these, each assist character is, you know, uh, it's, I guess, unique in this game that they're exclusively assist characters. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, there's uh, some, a couple of uh, cases where the characters got different names. So it's really the same guy, but they're like, shadowy and shadowy. Yeah. Like, uh, Captain America is a character, and then there's US an assist character, US Asian. Yeah. Basically Captain America. Same thing's true of uh, shadowy. Chun -Li. Oh yeah. Sneaky. That of course a Mega Man 8 reference. Yeah. She packs a mean punch. She's tons of fun. So what you just actually saw me do right there is a uh, uh, hyper combo, which is one of my favorite parts of this. Mm -hmm. What is that? So basically, uh, both of your characters kind of come out and do their main hyper combo, and it is pretty much awesome because if you do it as your final KO attack, so that right there, if that were like the final attack that won me the game, uh, it would have its own special name. Will we make it before time runs out? So I'll do, do that. Just jump through real quick. Captain Mega Man. Captain Mega Man. So that's the Captain Sword and Hyper Mega Man. Yeah, it, so just it actually takes, it just takes the words that make up the supers and yeah. mash them together. But it becomes more awesome. It's a clever than idea, both of yeah. Them yeah. Together. Like I actually you know what? I don't think there's any on If here's a challenge to everyone listening. If you actually take Marvel vs. Capcom Origins, it has to be the new one, because I don't think there's any of the original games, and you make a compilation video showing all the different dual hyper combos, I will personally pay Pal you ten dollars. <laughs> Do you have any character requests? Is that coming out of marketing? Specific people people would like to see. Yeah, give us your request, guys. Yeah. Gambit, everyone always requests Gambit, so I'll choose him. Yeah, we'll wait for those to come Soulfish. in. Soulfish. I will pick Soulfish. Morrigan. No requests as of yet. Spider Zen. Uh, I'll, choose, I'll choose Spider Man. Uh, Okay, we got Gambit, uh, we got Jin. We'll, we'll do Venom next time. You guys have any uh, personally uh, personal favorite assist characters? Uh, Shylock's always good. Shylock. Uh, I like your Shell Heart. Shell Heart. Yeah, she's really good for crazy cross-ups. Yeah. Uh, she shoots three waves of bullets, and you can like jump behind them in between waves of bullets. Uh, <laughs> get cross-ups and things on people. Yes, so very versatile. This, of course, is Gene Salatome from uh, Cyberbots, previously only seen inside his, uh, his mech. Um, although in Cyberbots, you can sort of mix and match uh, pilots and mechs. Here he is uh, tied to his Glodia. I guess that's canon. But uh, I love Gene because he's a truly unique uh, character for this game. You know, there's pretty much designed from the ground up. Or yeah. Rather, they had the physical design, but they didn't have any of his moves. And, uh, they went the very quirky route. So one of the best things about the two different combos is it changes which characters at point. So uh, if you just tag out normally, your character comes in and does a taunt and then he's vulnerable and can be hurt. But uh, if you use a team hyper combo to change characters, it is. It's a safer. You can get in your other character, even if it doesn't kill him. Right? You can get in your yeah. other character behind the wall of projectiles. Yeah, yeah. So depending on your team, that can be a lot of safe. Yeah, it's safer. It's fire. Jin well done, Jin. Jin is also awesome because he has the uh, a taunt where he basically just goes naked and starts rubbing his back with a towel. And if you do that long enough, he uh, catches on fire. Uh, so, 
You got venom, I get hurt. Okay. And uh, we did Captain Commando. Venom. Wolverine, I guess? Uh, yeah, I'll do War Machine. War Machine. Venom is also, I think, probably one of the coolest Fight. animated characters in the entire game. Again, like uh, Jin, he was specially designed for Marvel vs. Capcom Origins. Here, let's uh, change up the view modes a little bit. Or not, it wasn't made for Marvel vs. Capcom Origins. Just Marvel vs. Capcom One. Okay, so guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and come on and uh, put our first uh, free download code in the chat. So make sure you're looking at the live chat. Um, and it's a string of letters and numbers, but we've replaced a few with question marks. So, uh, your job is to guess what those question marks should be replaced with based on a hint that we give, which we will give on the microphone. <laughs> so go ahead and look at the chat and look for that code. Here's the original okay, the, uh, the code is in there. Now the question marks, there's three question marks. Those should be replaced with the initials of the following. So on the Dreamcast... Back in the day, there was a Resident Evil game. It was Resident Evil. <laughs> and then there was an upgraded version of that game that had one extra initial at the end. And we're looking for the three initials in that version of the game. So it's Resident Evil. Mm, mm, mm. What are those three initials? That's my favorite one. Mm. <laughs> Someone, someone, uh, got it. So, like, if you get it, don't tell everybody. Just enter it in place of the question marks as that code. Enter it on, uh, Xbox Live. This is an Xbox code. And don't worry, we do have codes for PSN as well. We have two, two of each? We have two of each. It's like the Queen Latifah. <laughs> Uh, Resident Evil game that came out back in the day. So, so right here we have uh, the over-the-shoulder mode. It's one of our new view modes. Oh, yeah, there's really best So what we can, we'll actually do after this match is uh, we can go in and uh, unlock some of them because I uh, I don't remember the codes myself. Yeah, all the codes from the original arcade version still work, but uh, it's easier to go to the vault sometimes and yeah. just unlock the characters than to go look up the codes and enter them. For those of you guys that have them memorized, you can do that too. Go. Is this a is this a Strider stage? It's based on Kazakh. Uh. You Point is getting serious here. Oops. This was a vandalized cabinet. <laughs> Them combos. That combo is not going to be on Pineapple surprise? One, two, three. Save your Colossus. Mutants can't save you. Yes. Does this, uh, Yuri's asking from the chat, does this game include uh, achievement and trophy support? It does, yes. Uh, in fact, some of the side uh, little challenges you can see, uh -huh. um, some of those actually equate to achievements. So, oh, cool. Yeah, I think uh, if you like beat the arcade mode, that unlocks a little sidebar uh, challenge, and you also get an achievement for that. All right, so which uh, which hidden character should we unlock here? Yeah, we have enough for one unlocking. So, Shadow Lady, Red Venom, uh, Roll, please, please no Roll, Orange Hulk, Red Venom. What do you guys want to see? They're gonna say roll just to spite me. Yeah, what? I what's your fancy, guys? Some yeah. people saying roll, shadow lady. A lot of shadow lady. All right, let's go, shadow lady. Yeah. 
Dark and mysterious. <laughs> He's the thighest robot you'll ever see. Got shadow thighs. So Shadow Lady is down here. We'll do a Shadow Lady mirror match here. And I'll play Chun Li as well. Why not? Alright. Ooh, Jubilee. Fireworks! It's got sort of Tron detail on it. Ready! Fight! It's not Tron Bond, it's not Tron. Hidden missiles! Wow. Yeah. She shoots missiles out of her butt. It's so shady. It's, uh... Yeah, Big Bang Whoa. Laser. That's not what I'm used to. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? It's just Chun-Li. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's like a walnut upgrade. Who is the large pair of legs in the background? <laughs> That's the poor guy. Oh, that dude right there? Yeah. Is that ogre? <laughs> These are just, uh, yeah, those are just dudes. Just one of the mill dudes. Rose, if you will. Pulling up the globe. Some atlas. Alright, let's see what that actually gets you. Uh, I'm just gonna taunt while you're doing it. It's a good taunt. This is what you guys paid to see. Oh, wait, you didn't pay. Alright, here we go. Alright. Oh, oh, what does that translate to, Greg? Uh, whatever, Kikocho. Trans translates to plus laser. I don't know, I have to see the kanji. Probably something random. Shall we do Marvel Superheroes? Yeah, let's go Marvel like Superheroes. Shining or something to that effect. Hey, there's another game in this package. Another game, you say? How do you get to it? Just by pressing the select button? <laughs> You're crazy! Man. Who would think of such a thing? Switching games used to be so difficult. I know, I had to get up <laughs> off my couch. It's like... Open who knows how many cases. Grandpa Snore yeah. turning the radio dial. Blow into my cartridge. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of breath. Have to sit down on the floor. Uh, we I will, I will absolutely accept that request. Juggernaut's my bro. Jugger bro. Uh, we got and uh, I will play as Thanos because I can. This is just a brute fest. It's just a, yeah, these are it's fighting in flames. Couple, couple of beefcakes of right here. Juggernaut. Uh, so looks like it's time for another code. I say we go for PSN this time. Um, so take a look in the chat, and we'll we'll enter that code, replacing a few of the characters with question marks. Entering in the chat. So the question marks this time uh, are a word. It's a three-letter word for a let's see, a breakfast food that comes from a chicken. In most cases, these are the hardest questions ever. Don't go hurting yourselves, guys, trying to figure this one. Just enter it into your PSN uh, redeem code section on the store. See some people getting it. Even if someone says they got it, you know, don't trust these people because they'll say that just so no one tries. Some of them.
the answer not hot dog. <laughs> Keep trying, guys. <laughs> so, is this game canon? That's my question. <laughs> Did this all actually happen? Juggernaut actually oh. did beat Thanos Including in hell. Load screens. This, did this <laughs> all actually happen? Yes. <laughs> if, if I know Marvel, if they could have gotten a few more comics out of it, it absolutely happened. Yeah. I don't remember Thanos uh, saving replays. <laughs> <laughs> Although he should have. I had the power to. He had the power, yeah. I would save a replay of that whole, that whole he's just, he's just sitting down the entire with, Marvel Universe. Just sitting down with Spoilers. Death and he's like, hey, check out this sweet replay. Yeah. <laughs> That would win her over. Schumer quest? I can I can do Schumer. Gorath request. We call those SGRs when I'm from. If you tried and it didn't work, that means someone else got it. You are not the early bird what doth hatch the proverbial egg. I think that's how that proverb goes. <laughs> you can see the sweet rave party in the background there. Yeah, so one of the things that makes this game different is uh, you see it down in the bottom uh, part of the screen, it yep. shows what gems we've played. Mm -hmm. So I just activated the super armor gem. The space gem. And uh, here's the speed, the time gem which speeds you up. This, of course, coming from the uh, Infinity Gauntlet backstory. Yeah. That gauntlet containing some gems. That did stuff. Justice got it kind of a Dormammu vibe from Blackheart. He actually, very much so. In fact, some of the moves are pretty similar, like his, uh, his little pillar move. Mm -hmm. uh, sort of and the they're master both, like, of very, Yeah. Demon characters. Mm -hmm. Blackheart right. being the mouthless son of Mephisto. Huh. Yeah, each of the characters has a particular one of the Infinity Gems that they have an affinity for. And uh, uh -huh. they get more powerful if they use that specific gem. So in Blackheart's case, if you're wondering why I went invisible, uh, that gem is his, uh, the one that he's gets special powers from. It makes him invisible. Yeah, and for everyone else, it, um, including Blackheart, it gives the him, gem. the reality gem gives him a bunch of like just projectiles. So he almost becomes, if you played Marvel 3, a, uh, a uh, almost Phoenix-like character. Oh, cool. I'm not sure that's the... Uh, Best way to be selling Blackheart, but. <laughs> Do love some Psylocke. Yes, Greg, we're all familiar yeah, with your, your ninja. You've got an infatuation with all ninjas. So for uh, Psylocke, it's actually. One ride. Yeah. Chaos Dimensions are cool. Wow, wow, so did that. So unfortunately, uh, uh, I can't show you the power gem beside that, but it uh, breaks her into a whole bunch of different Whoa. pieces. And she's got like two shadows that follow her. Very cool. Almost Strider esque. No. And again. This is what people. Would you say you took her for a ride? No, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna go that far, Greg Moore. But no one's stricken from the record. So this one fills up your uh, super meter. So you'll notice my super meter going up really fast because I uh, used the mind gem. What exactly does a psychic knife do? Uh, are you making him crazy right now? 
I don't think you can make Shimagurath more crazy. He is but the Lord of Chaos, after all. Yeah, that's a fair point. Bubble time. Yeah. It's beautifully animated. Yeah, that's one of the things I like most about this. I figure that's probably why they selected a character like Shimagorath, even though he's even, certainly he, not at the forefront of most Marvel He fans, actually so. only appeared in two comics before this game came out. Yeah. That was a trivia question of facts. It was, yes. Um, yeah. He's one of uh, probably the most obscure character ever to be put in any yeah. video game. But I'm sure he was a delight to animate and come up with moves for. I, I could make some very bad jokes right here, but I'm going to refrain from it. Yes. All right, guys. So well, I got to split. It's like Derek has to take off. What's that up? is true. I got to get back to the business of actually making these games. Yeah, oops. Uh, that'll do. So, uh, Yuri, you want to tag in? Oh, yeah, oh, I this. Thank you very much for being here, Sorry. Derek. So is Yuri more like a tag partner or an assist character? Yuri is uh, he's the tag partner. Greg's the assist. Yeah, I'm you're the assist. The assist. <laughs> Just come in with your microphone, uh, yeah, yeah. say some stuff. All right, it looks like we actually, thanks, Derek. Uh, looks like we actually have enough to unlock another character. So let's go to the uh, the vault right now. All right. Now that I've provided vault. context, we have, uh, that's a, a player. Woo. We do. It's just points. Can pay uh, its way open. Which one do we want here? So any requests. So we can do it for either game. Uh, we have Doctor Doom and Anita in Marvel Superheroes and uh, all the characters sans Shadow Lady for uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 1. So, requests? Uh, let's see, I'm seeing a lot of Anita. Okay. Yeah, Anita. Alright, let's go with Anita. One of the... Someone says, bye Derek. And they say, bye Derek, but they mean, bye Derek. Ah. <laughs> I in, in, in some ways, this was by Derek. This is a confusing was time confusing. for Capcom Unity. All right, cool. So it was yeah. <laughs> Anita from the Dark Soccer's series. How did she make her a way into a Marvel game? A lot of people saying. So the, it's actually a funny story. Not only did she make her way into a Marvel game, she made her way into a Marvel only game. Marvel only game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, the reason for that is she's not actually a real character. There's also, I guess we'll have to maybe save this for next round. There's uh, been a kreplach of uh, requests for Doom. Okay. Well, we'll have to earn some more points before we can get him. Okay. Yeah, we, we don't have enough points so for maybe that. in a little bitsy boo. Uh, oh, no, I do not. Hi. You don't like America? I, I like America, just not Captain America. I'm down with America. <laughs> so, Anita, you'll <laughs> notice she has very few... Uh, very few animations, that's because she's really just like a debug character that was put into this game. Never meant to actually be played. Um, you could kind of unlock her with some ROM hacks uh, way back in the day, but in this one uh, it was just decided to just kind of put her in. And you can see Akuma just shows up for, you know, no just good reason. hanging out. Alright, uh, why don't you show her some of the moves then? So that's one of her moves. Hey, this is super so that weird. was a e. <laughs> yeah. It's her her moves are not really that interesting except for her hyper combo, which oh. basically you know she has her little doll head. Yes. So. <laughs> Got it. There's a hundred. I do like her utter lack of emotion. She's like some students I used to teach. Yeah. For her her doll head. Yeah, which was cut off. It's a little symbol of her innocence. And such. Is she regurging, regurgitating her instance at you? No, I think it's. I think it's just a metaphor that hurts a lot. Gotcha. She's like, I am innocent. Ooh. Wow, I Again. really hope none of you had uh, had any sort of sensitivity to flashes there. Yeah, no, she's she's crazy broken. <laughs> so we got lots of Donovan mentions. <laughs> Don yeah. Um, Donovan's not in this game, but right. he is a cool character. He's actually Anita is his little uh, his ward, I guess you could say. Uh, they're both half vampire, half humans, or Dompiers, as <laughs> Dompiers, uh, yeah. um, as they're known. Should we do normal or terrible? 
Uh, Turbo is more fun. I will be Iron Man, because no one's told me. Yeah, Donovan with his sword. Uh, the dialect. I, I, we... Dialect, yeah, yeah, yeah that's the... I'm, I'm a big Stark Stalkers fan, so... I mean, I'll just nerd out over that stuff. So, trivia, I believe this is the, uh, the Mark III, um, Iron Man costume. But correct me if I'm wrong. Also, uh, a little fun point. The proton cannon actually never existed in the comics until after this game was made. Uh, oh, really? And they, well, it wasn't, it was never really actually a big thing anyway, even after it came out, but there were some references to it. No! Man, you're like right inside the battle. Yeah, you were like swinging right into those protons. Yeah. Oh, um, no. Very nice. Been practicing some combos. Yeah, sort of. Uh, I don't know. Very useful tactical move there. It sucks the character into you a little bit. Yeah. Oh, got those other two hits there. And oh, no maximum spider move. Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of out of the way. Double bit eight. Asking who's playing right now, we have uh, Andrew Storm, who ran the marketing campaign, and uh, Yuri, our own Capcom Unity liaison. Ah, what is the reality uh, for Spider-Man? Does it do anything specific? It doesn't do anything specific. Uh, Spider-Man's unique gem is the Power Gem, which basically actually creates a doppelganger of Spider-Man. Oh, uh, kind of like... Uh Morgan's, uh, exactly, kind of like Morgan's, uh, um, yeah, mirror or something. Shadow, shadow image, something like that. Shadow me. Uh, yeah, very key gameplay uh, uh, thing for Morgan on uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah. Oh, that was alright. <laughs> One for JJ. One for JJ. <laughs> Uh, let's see, do we have any character requests? Um, well, so there, well, I guess there, we still can't afford Doom, but, uh... You, you paid for that with the Anita choice. What you guys got? Uh, who have we, we not done? We haven't done Wolverine in this game. Let's see if done, uh, Magneto. Oh. Battle of the Ages here. So, here's an interesting uh, point. Oh. Um... Wolverine actually recovers life in this game because they wanted to be more, I guess, canonical. So Wolverine recovers life, so you'll notice his red life recovers, but Magneto actually does more damage to him than he does wow. to other characters because of the whole Metal Bones uh, thing. That's very thoughtful. Yeah, so makes it doesn't really help with the balance, but it does help with the, uh, the nerding out. So you guys watching at home, or wherever you're watching, make sure you're nerding out right now. So Wolverine is also his uh, gem, is the power gem. Uh, and you can see it kind of makes these little clones of his. Uh, it's kind of like Yun from Street Fighter 3 and 4. I'm sorry, it's more like Yang. Well, don't or, they both do that? Uh, it's a little bit different, but that's not going to be the I'm just going to dive kick you. <laughs> I will finish this with a dive kick. Or not at all. No. <laughs> my, yeah, so my hubris got the best of me. Ah, man. Super armor. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, for Magneto, Super Armor is actually his, uh, most, uh, his unique gem. Which, uh, actually gives him a full force field. Oh, wow. Yeah, which basically you can't, you have to, like, hit a bunch before he takes any damage. I see. Wasn't that all covered in, uh, Maximilian's videos? Uh, it was, yes. 
That was, I believe, episode one. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, uh, give them a shot. They are uh, informative as well as entertaining. If you also enjoy Back to the Future, you'll, you'll also like them. Because there are Back to the Future references galore. Deva, uh, uh, one of our mods, Deva, suggests that you rip the adamantium from his bones. Yeah, that's Let me uh, try to do that. How do I do that? <laughs> Just beat him for a few seconds. Uh, you got close right there. How do you actually do it? Uh, you can't. This is a T-rated game. Uh. <laughs> We're T for T. Oh. We have violence and we have partial nudity, but we don't need nudity of the skeleton. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Antista. Hi, Chris Antista. Nudity. My first streaming appearance. I'm all nervous. It's uh, well, you wouldn't be on camera anyway. That's okay. Uh, cam in game. I'm better off. Yeah. I'm better off not on camera. I'll pop in for a sec. Hi. There's the one. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm, I can't see. Well, oh, I'm the little one. See, I don't have my glasses on, <laughs> and I don't need to because these sprites are so bright. They are. I love it. Right. In the chat, okay. shouting, Chris. Hi. Chris. Are you are you playing filterless? You play? No, uh, no, you this play. is not filterless. One person we called can... you handsome. Ooh, thank you. Another person called you a man. Really? Actually, it's the same person. Okay, I'm gonna say that's never unanimous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. See, I, that's actually. I was trying. Did you do Hulk? I tried or... to practice. Oh, no, I haven't. I was trying to practice last night, and I just oh. man. It's... So. No, uh, no, I no, I it's, suck. It's... I I still suck. Sorry, you, I ran out of time. Schnorr beat me up so bad yesterday. It, it was luck. Oh no, I just I didn't want to appear on my first stream playing like a scrub. Well, that's that's what's happening with me right now. Uh, you you won the first game. But see, you've been on a stream before. You've established yourself as a personality. It was. I have plenty of time to make myself look like a doofus in the name of Captain America. Oh, did I just go under that thing? Uh, yeah. Is as you can see, we're back guys? in this the sweet rave party of hell. My favorite. Scene. I tried to follow that philosophy, but I have just ended up making myself appear a scrub in every single one of our franchises. Yeah. But I, do but I know a little bit about all of them. I really do love, love, love the look of this game. It's kind of my favorite looking Marvel series ever. The Versus series. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I don't know why no one still bothers to make comic games look like comics. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's so vibrant. Yeah, it's I, still, I still use these gifts oh, for no. my Twitter avatars. I love yeah. so. Yeah. Love the Spider Man animation. Who didn't love that web throw just now? What's up, Super? About the. Did you talk about the voice actors more? Uh, yeah, so some of the voice actors you might actually recognize uh, from their early kind of 90s. It's mainly uh, Wolverine, though, so if you actually listen to Wolverine's voice, it was... I don't actually remember what his name was. How? I looked it up. I'll look it up again. But yeah, it's the same Wolverine voice from the 1992 Fox, Fox Kids animated X-Men series, which I love dearly. Uh, it was, the voice of Juggernaut is also the same. Really? Oh. Yeah, and they, like they even like a lot of the voice actors went on to do these characters in other non-Capcom games. Huh. I think the voice of Psy uh, Psylocke just she's voiced Jean, Jean Grey or Dark Phoenix in several other things since then. We're making careers. Making careers. Oh, what, what the? Oh. You were a pretty low life. I tried. I tried because I couldn't. I couldn't show my skills in the game. I'm like, I'm gonna get good with Mega Man in two hours. And I... <laughs> that's actually uh, speaking of Marvel vs. Capcom. Let's uh, switch back to that switch one. Back. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and put in another code for uh, Xbox. Ooh. Yeah. Use this to download the game for. No doubt. I, I looked up a really dumb trivia question. Oh, you. you don't do my well, don't we're do gonna, my trivia. Now we're doing. Uh, so we're entering the code. Minus two characters replaced with question mark. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and look for that now in the chat. What is your trivia, by the way? Uh, the, uh, well, let me let me get through this first. So the, the two question marks. <laughs> this is a stretch. Um, so uh, there's a Capcom title that's coming sometime next year, and it is known colloquially by a three-letter title, which is the first two letters of that title. Make any sense? Yes, and you can also so, contact yeah. me personally on Twitter if you'd like another clue. <laughs> uh, no, my tri my trivia was this: I looked up, I was looking up the voices, uh, the voice of the voice of Iron Man. I love this level. 
fight. No, not EX Troopers. That is not a three-letter title. Oh, did you choose those two? Yeah, I was about to. Oh, you, you mean, didn't do that either. purposely? No, someone, someone I was not looking at yours. Someone got it. <laughs> We yes. just, guys, we just did an accidental mirror match here. I was not looking at his at all. I, I, was, I was watching him while he was making his selection. I was just like, why is he doing this to me? Taking three letter things. Like, not three words. And certainly not four words. <laughs> That's too bad no one gets good Italian. It really is. It really is. Again, another clue. Personal contact right by a clicker. You have to get my hands on I'm just saying, that's also another clue. How would you go about personally contacting anyone specifically Ragnar? Not with an at reply, but with a... A more direct way of messaging. <laughs> I care about Monster Hunter Sir. <laughs> no, okay, my trivia was the dude who does the voice of Iron Man, Tony Stark, is also the male narrator in Dino Crisis 2. Really? Apparently, <laughs> he's just coming for someone who hasn't played Dino Crisis 2. I've been waiting. That's, uh, that's some pretty obscure stuff, man. Where do you keep that? Uh, I keep it. I don't know. Do you ever go in like a wiki binge? Yes. This is a, a this is an easy easy title to go in a wiki binge. Do we know? Uh, for example, do we know which venom this is? Venom. Uh, it's Eddie, Eddie Brock. Yeah. Eddie Brock. Right there. There are like face. three venoms in now. Currently in the Marvel series. I was actually Isn't he like anti-venom now? I think so. Huh. And. I, forgot, I totally forgot who the new Venom is, but I know even Spider-Man made fun of him recently for... For being Venom? For being like, oh, he's like the 8th Venom now. Spider-Man makes fun of everyone all the time. He does. He's a bit of a punk, really. Ah! Nostalgia Rock says Eddie Brock is anti-Venom now, the Venom symbiote was taken over by Scorpion. Yes, correct. And man, if I had a code to give you, I'd say... Uh, we do have one more PSN code, which I will give out shortly. We have to think Ready. of a trivia challenge. Fight! Uh, we're, we're, well, we're doing the question mark. When does the... 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 There is no such confirmed date. Yeah, why would we really for such a demo? Well, no, we've been, we've talked a lot about how... Uh, how we how we love to do that, and it's a definite possibility. There's just no... Uh, Ah, oh, no! Details locked down publicly yet. Dude, I... But, rest assured, when that time comes, I will be screaming for the whole time. But, uh, privately, check your inbox. In a good way, I think. Bad idea! Bad. The game is available uh, on Xbox Live and PSN now in North America. So. It's uh, yeah, it's Xbox Live uh, everywhere. PSN in North America. There is some weird thing that happened in PSN Europe. Uh, we're currently working with Sony Europe or Capcom Europe, to working with Sony Europe to figure out what happened there because really no reason why it shouldn't have. Been. Yeah, they're, they're sweet. Yeah, <laughs> nah, that's yeah. It, Time zone difference. They were just sleeping. They're sleeping. I always wonder what Dr. Wiley is doing. He's just, he's just pissed off. Is he angry? Is he, or is he cheering somebody on? And if so, who? Uh, of course, the, the green dude. You think so? I don't uh, think he's rallying behind Mega Man now. Oh no! Yes. You totally mess up. Oh. Just slap you in the head. Just one slap. Clap, clap. Clap on, clap off. The Hulk. <laughs> Bet that's how he learned uh, his karate moves. Mm -hmm. Clap on, clap off. Also, you notice Hulk in this game is much more... Uh, 
um, literate in his vocabulary. Oh, he's a smart banner. It is. It is smart banner. <laughs> Professor Hulk, as I think he was called. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going back to Shadow Lady. Oh, there's that. Huh? I'm going to uh, show my super low skills in uh, Sprite. In the meantime, we will put in one final uh, right. PSN code. So take a look in that chat. Recording pads ready, people. So I actually uh, got Thor as my assist character. So if you think MVC3 was ready. his first uh, appearance, you'd be wrong. So the question marks in this code... I think he's, and he's actually a statue. Or he is. is. He's shorthand. Actually, he actually, I was going to say, if you thought it was MVC1, it's also wrong. It's Marvel Super Heroes, awesome. where he's one of the people, one of the heroes uh, captured by Thanos. That is Thor's first appearance. Have you ever streamed War of the Game? I don't think so. It's the precursor to the game I like to believe. He plays Wolverine, Spidey, Hulk, and Iron Man, searching for Thanos and Jeff. And it has the ugliest cover art ever. Yes. Oh, glorious in the 90s. All right, let me get through this hint, guys. No, um, we don't want to get through They've been sitting there looking at it for a while. All right, so two question marks. They are the shorthand nickname for a film that came out in the early 90s, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. And go ahead. No, what? <laughs> Wrap me out of the super. Not live action hero? Nope, it is, it is two characters. Or is it kindergarten cop? Oh, I like it. No, but it's not kindergarten cop. I wish it was. I'll give you another hint. It's a, it's a letter and a number. I don't want to be the one to pass the judgment. Early 90s. Today. Someone got it. Was that hard? He did have a lot of movies in the early 90s, I suppose. But it should be the one that's front of mind, you know? Yeah. Think of Arnold, you don't think of the or even Kindergarten Cop. At least not as, like, his quintessential film. I held a girl's hand for the first time in Kindergarten Cop. Great film. I'll never forget it. I love Kindergarten. Whatever happened with her? Melissa? My favorite part is when they go, What's a Again? ferret? And he goes, It's a ferret. <laughs> Wolverine. Put that cookie Wait. down. Put that cookie down. <laughs> it was pretty correct. It was a third. Darkly. Shadow Lady. Shadow Lady. And who's your favorite character so far, Yuri? My favorite character is uh, the one with the, with the kicks. And oh, okay. Oh, and the punches, too? Shoot a rat. I, I see. That. <laughs> exactly. I actually do like Venom. I used to always pick Venom when I was playing this game back in. I don't know. 1998? Probably not. Uh, it's probably like 2003 or something because uh, living in Brazil, you know, you get the games and the games, so always a little bit behind. A little bit. It's like half a decade. <laughs> well, the game came, in, it came out in 1999 or 98? 8, I believe. Right. So it wasn't. 85. Know, 85? 85. This came out before Street Fighter 2. I've been in the sleep deprivation. Before Street Fighter 1, for that matter. Fight! Oh, I rock the Captain Commando. Captain Commando is my favorite character, just as a general rule of thumb. I, we were at PAX and I saw the uh, PlayStation 1 that I never ever played. Captain Commando is going for like 150 bucks. Yeah, it's... It's pretty rare these days. But Captain Commando is still the greatest hero of all time, <laughs> according to the, the manga of Captain Commando. And retro history. Yeah, absolutely. Although that was an alternate dimension one, which was more just the greatest uh, villain of all time. Uh, okay, let's Sword. see if. Uh... Uh oh. Yes! Can't run from the tornado attack. Can't run from the spider web. Oh, come on! He's a little boy. He's a, not a boy, he's a robot. He's a robot. Ever wonder how the Captain Commando team ever assembled? 
I'm gonna kill you with the baby. Baby head. No baby. How did this motley crew come together? I wanna see you. I will give you a dollar if you can kill Yuri with the Mega Man Rock Ball. Oh. Alright, let's see if we can do that. I like how this has just become a let's kill Yuri. Oh no! Well, well so much for that. One. <laughs> what an upset. Alright, let's see if I can kill you with teamwork. See if you can kill me at all. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. Are any of the filters on right now? Uh, yeah. Streamline? Ah! Uh, chip damage? No! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Again, my hubris <laughs> has one taken the best of me. Uh, trying to get a little... Uh, I like how Venom still just bragging on Spider-Man in yeah. his quote, even though Spider-Man was not involved in that fight at all. Maybe that's why. I think we've got enough steam for one more match. And also, this laptop is about to die. Uh oh. So goes the stream. No, no, no. We, we could get the core for that. Uh, let's just let's just power through. Yeah, we, we got, got one right. match. You guys have some uh, too boring to talk about paperwork, do kind of immediately. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Don't worry about it. It's been a whirlwind of a day. Sorry, whirlwind. Whirlwind. Character. Yeah. Cool. All right, you go with the Marvel guys. I go with the Captain guys. I don't even know. I didn't accidentally selected those dudes. I'm not sure how. Nice. Just like the game says. So is it he is. a U? Is he an agent from the U.S. or a gent from USA? Fight. Who? Who? What? USA gent. Got it. Great. Nice one, Greg. Thank you. I thought you were talking about the game. I, I think he's from. You know, I'm discovering this discrepancy as I say it. So. uh... It's deeply alarming to me. What the is all about? You can't get gold like that. No one knows how to script. <laughs> and this is how Greg is all the time. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'll take that as a not too harsh insult. Also, they come with. I don't think any game has had a ratter gambit ever. We challenge you in the chat to come up with a Ratter Gambit the ratter in a gambit game. in video game form. I so feel like you he's falling to, to the wayside. So you have to get uh, to participate in this challenge. You have to actually get the Marvel license yes. and make a game yeah. that has a better Gambit than... Yes. Um, Here, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll start you off. Why not just make it like a poker simulator? Make it do it in the background. It doesn't have to be a full play. You have to get that new dude approved. <laughs> oh no, wrong super. Yeah, you don't you wouldn't believe what had to happen in order to get that stance to do. <laughs> so loose. I, I think I'm seeing some side move down there too. Yeah, you can see you can see some stuff. In fact her uh her attack bows here do a uh, hyper on me. She's she's actually just sticking her butt out in that in that image. It's, it's cut off though. Uh, is it, it's, it's, was this an attempt also, to make me lose meter? Actually, I didn't see anything. <laughs> also, uh, you'll notice we have the uh, partial nudity. That is because of that dude right there, which right. Spider Man is so, right there. So so uh, that's what I was talking you, about. Yeah. So it's not about Morgan, it's about it's that not, dude. It's about that dude. That's what I meant just by nudity. Continually dude. cleaning his dude back. Is dude. And that's why this game is adults only. Man. Right there. It's just bathing. Oh, he actually oh. turned. Ah! And if you if you play around him for long enough, uh, a space gem will fall out of there eventually. <laughs> oh god! He didn't say what? Anything vague? He didn't say ah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's gotta be the there. reality game. It's gotta be the mind. <laughs> <laughs> Any one of those is funny, I think. Yep. Are you taunting me? No. Uh, no! Really oh no, man, I was trying to do the dual hyper combo. Again. Oh. Money out of time. At least you win this time. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, I oh. think uh, we're going to have to get back on camera right now and yeah. close no this more out. Alright, well, we'll have to play online, man. There we uh, go. There's our yes. proverbial oh. Huckleberry. <laughs> See how fun it is at the Capcom office? It's, it's <laughs> great. We have these uh, old EGM covers right here. Exactly. Oh, it's yes. a party central. They're covering up a lot of paperwork, TPS reports. 
So, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Origins available this week, today, on both PSN and Xbox Live in North America, and you said PSN in Europe as well? Uh, no, PS, no. PS, PSN? X, PSN on, in Europe, where uh, they're working on it, but uh, Xbox everywhere. Um, we'll be playing online, so if you just happen to see us, uh, we'll uh, get a few games in. And mm -hmm. uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. And yes, we'll be seeing you in the near future for more streaming goodness. Until then, guys. Bye-bye. I'll miss Bye -bye. you.